Happy New Year, welcome to our first web design video blog of 2010. We've moved out of our old makeshift studio and into Creator's new professional one. So January looks set to be a busy month for web design related product launches. In addition to Google's new Nexus One phone, Apple have confirmed an event on the 27th of January and are expected to unveil the eagerly anticipated Apple tablet or iSlate. If indeed Apple launch a new 10-inch portable device, it will be interesting to see how its version of Safari handles web pages and if any measures will need to be taken by web designers. This week's web design tutorial is going to be how to create email signatures in Apple's mail application. Email and web hosting usually go hand in hand for web designers, so firstly we're going to start off with the basics of saving and creating signatures, and then next week we'll look at uh, more advanced signatures with uh, HTML. So creating email signatures in Apple Mail is fairly straightforward. Essentially an email signature is a templated uh, piece of text that accompanies all outgoing emails that saves you having to type it out each time. So to make an email signature in Apple Mail, just go to Mail, Preferences, then select Signatures from the menu across the top. Simply click on uh, your at world symbol here and click the plus symbol. I'll just name this one uh, James. And uh, Apple Mail by default puts in your name and your email address. So that's all you have to do. If I close the Preferences panel and click New Message, you'll see that my uh, new email signature is now templated into all of my uh, new composed messages. But the only trouble with the uh, preference signatures at the moment is obviously that you don't really have much control over changing the colour, typeface and size of your email signature. So the best way to um, do this is to create a new message in Apple Mail, type out what you'd like to appear in your email signature, so I'll just put uh, my name uh, and the address of Crea and use the fonts and colours attributes up here to style up your signature. So I could select the Crea company name and address, I could make this uh, green for example. I could then uh, select my name, job title, make this like a sort of darker grey. If you want to change the size as well, just click on the font button here and I can change all of this to something like Gil Sands. I can make my name slightly larger. Once you've uh, made your email signature in a new message you can then copy this, go back to mail preferences, onto signatures and simply paste this in into the box on the right hand side like so. Now when you create a new message you'll see your new edited email signature with typesetting uh, sizes and colour. As mentioned earlier, next week is part two of email signatures. We'll take a look at creating HTML signatures and also how you can integrate elements like graphics and dynamic Skype icons. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.